A former tenant who was kicked out of Valley West Mall in May claims management did not help her address flooding and water damage found in her unit. That same month, Local 5's Connor O'Neill tells us about the turn of events that the owner says happened next. The shutdown of communication, um, the lack of help. Two things that have frustrated former Valley West mall tenant Jen Thompson, who alleges mall staff were made aware of a water leak in her unit in May and told her not to file an insurance claim for the damages. Just, just to be treated like that by adults, and I'm an adult, it's, it's really frustrating to see that that high school, that 90s high school mentality kind of carried over in today's adulthood. Thompson recalls seeing a waterfall coming down from upstairs and noticed half of her ceiling caved in. She added that after that, she had a Zoom call with the mall who allegedly told her the leases state that units come as is. And by that point, I had mold growing in my back room. I was getting sick and nobody had helped me clean anything up. After the Zoom call with management, Thompson found out she was being evicted and that mall management had allegedly told other tenants and security not to talk to her following the eviction. Thompson did admit she was behind on her rent and held back her payment for the month of May because she felt like something was going to happen between the two parties. And all I wanted was some help. I, I wanted to stay here. I still want to save this mall even though I'm not here. After the eviction, Thompson had to cancel her annual Indie Book Expo at the mall and is in debt to the 65 authors who had been scheduled to attend. Now, over the past couple of weeks, Valley West Mall Management did not respond to our multiple requests for comments. In West Des Moines, Connor O'Neill, Local 5 News.